What's up guys? So before I get this review going, I want to mention something really quick. From now on, whenever I review a receiver, I'm just going to be focusing on their, you know, important stats because honestly, nowadays nobody is running, you know, out routes and curl routes and, you know, really leaning on those routes. The only routes you see nowadays are slants, drags, posts, um, deep posts, corners. That's really about it. You really don't see curls and out routes and stuff like that. And of course, yes, yeah, C routes. And speaking of C routes, one more reason that I'm not testing out their route running so much is because there are so many routes that are just designed to kill man to man, designed to kill zone. So it's almost like your receiver could have 75 route running, but as long as you use these man beaters or zone beaters, they'll get open almost every time. So that's why from now on, whenever I review a receiver, I'm not going to really focus on the route running. I'm not saying I'll, you know, of course, I'm not saying that I'm just going to completely ignore it, but I'm just saying I'm not going to focus on it too much because nowadays, this late in the game with all these big time receivers coming out, the only thing that people care about is whether or not they can you know catch the ball and hold on to it so just just want you guys to know that in this review or starting with this review first you're not going to see too much route running just if whether or not he can catch the ball and you know hold on to it so here we go campus or not campus zero final edition michael uh, mike evans 98 overall dual style short pass speed run style six foot five 95 speed 99 catch 100 release 100 jump 98 catching traffic 100 spectacular 82 elusiveness and 92 route running also has an 89 spin move 89 stiff arm and a 93 truck so if you give him the open field you can definitely make people miss or even try to run them over so anyways man enough about the stats let me show you what this guy did on the field so like I said, I'm not going to show too many route running plays. This right here is the only one I will show. Not to mention 92 route running is not that great, especially this late in the game. Right here, 100 release, man, it will show up very often, trust me, especially if you're going against, a, against a, a smaller corner. And right here, his run blocking, believe it or not, his run blocking was a bit more average than I thought it would be. You know, of course, if he was, if he was going up against corners, great, great on um, blocking. Linebackers and safeties, he definitely struggled, which, you know, like I said, very surprising. And this right here, throwing across the middle... I thought this, you know, this might be an area where he would shine. That was not the case. I would say like on a scale of 1 to 10, he was maybe like a 6 when it came to running across the middle. Or not running, but catching across the middle. Which I know is much tougher to do because you do have linebackers and so just fly, just flying at you. So in terms of um, 1 out of 10, I give him a 6. And right here, the deep ball. I thought this is where he, you know, he would shine the most. That was not the case. I mean, he didn't. He did not do bad, believe me. This was definitely very fun to do. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say he was maybe like a 7.5. Maybe maybe like an 8, depending on who was covering him. But like I said, very very fun to throw deep, assuming it was one-on-one. -on -one. You know, he would have, of course, you know, obviously much more success if it was one-on-one. -on -one. So as you can see here, if you're one of those guys who needs like a deep threat, I don't think he's the best, but he's definitely very good at it. And this right here was some of the bad plays, you know. Like I said, the route running is just not there, man. So I don't recommend throwing, um, doing too many crazy routes with him. At least none that depend on route running. This right here, as you can see, he broke that press, but he just could not hold on to it. Definitely had some bad moments. And I did play a full season with him. I did win the Super Bowl. I did lean on him pretty much throughout the entire season. And these were pretty much all the bad plays, which once again, you know, very impressed that that these were the only bad plays, and you know, from an entire season. But the one area that he did shine with, you know, that I leaned on was this right here, catching in traffic, which was amazing, especially if it was one-on-one, -on -one, as you can see right here. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, just throw it. Oh, also, a bullet pass for some reason tends to be, you know, caught more often than a lob for whatever reason. So as you can see here, I'm throwing a lot of bullets. And as you can see, it works right there. Also, it was, you know, it gets very tough, you know, because your opponents, you know, they realized what you're doing, especially what I was doing, just abusing Ivan Evans all game. So they would put double, triple coverage. As you can see over here, they would even try to use her, and he was still being successful. So if you need that that um, catch and traffic threat, I definitely say try out Mike Evans. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up this review. My final thoughts: Do I think he's worth 330,000? I feel like maybe he's worth 250, and I'm sure his price might dip to like 290, maybe 280 during the weekend. But that's really about it. I don't think his price will drop any further further than that from now on. Definitely or definitely a top 10 receiver top five you can make the case But I feel more comfortable with the top 10 But like I said he could definitely be a top five receiver if you use him the right way And like I said in the beginning of the video from now on with receivers I'm just gonna focus on certain places not so much the route running and also let's be honest Whenever cards like this come out. What's the first thing you look at their speed their catch catching traffic spectacular When was the last time you 
you saw a card come out and the first thing you looked at was a route running no that's something i know that so many of you guys probably look at last maybe not even at all so like i said i don't see myself focusing on route running from now on but anyways let me know in the comments how you feel about that and if you guys don't like it you know maybe i'll go back to it but for now on i don't feel like i'm going to but anyways i'll see you boys for the next review man peace